once again YouTube. Uh, I'm doing another Fire Alpaca video for missing items or adding items and so on and so forth. Um, as you can see from my previous three videos, there has been an update. However, update slash news history tells me there's just pretty much malfunction been fixed. So I'm not too worried about this one having too many new things that I needed to put into the old ones. I doubt it. In fact, even playing around with it after it came out, there was nothing new. So without further ado, let's go into the missing, I'm missing everything. So as you can see, I have everything gone except my palette and my reference. All of my sidebars are gone. And how, how do I get them back? That's pretty easy, actually. And this is a commonly asked question for a lot of people who just don't know the program. Even it took, it, it took me a while even to kind of figure out how to do this. Um, and it's pretty simple once you know. You come up here, you have File, Edit, Layer, Filter, all the way here, right next to Help is Window. You click on Window, and you see color, brush preview, control, navigator, and everything. So you can just start selecting those to put them all back. As long as you haven't um, gotten rid of the program at all and you have just exited out and you haven't used it much, uh, you're fine. It'll all snap back to where it is. If you went out, you uh, uninstalled and reinstalled the program, they will probably be floating like the brush preview is. To put that back, you simply grab, pull it over, and you draw. And it's not too hard of a concept, uh, once you get the hang of it, of course. So, now we're gonna go into some of the missing brushes, because people miss brushes all the time. The program isn't perfect. In fact, it's still brand new. So, you're gonna be missing a lot of things. So quite simply, to get a new brush, or a brush that is pre-installed, that is the pen brush, this pencil brush, airbrush, watercolor, oil, or not oil, sorry, uh, edge, blur, so on and so forth. You also have a fingertip in there. Um, those are all, they all come with the program. You don't have to make them. Uh, special settings can be made to make other brushes, though. You'll be coming here to new, like just like your layers over here, or duplicate. So new on this side, new here, new here. It, that's all new. So you come to new. You can name your brush. Uh, let's name it. And then you have all of these wonderful little settings that you can put as your brush. A lot of you miss, are missing watercolor, at least when the program was first starting out, a lot of people were missing watercolor. Uh, some people are missing blur, smudge, which is a fingertip tool. Um, and, so, and I know you will not get edge pen when you first download it. You have to go through the program to get the edge brush, which is a very fun brush. As you can see, as soon as you change um, the brush that you're using, it's going to change the name back to no name. So that's pretty easy. Other brushes that come with it, you can't re-download after you get rid of them. Um, that would be like your marker brush, the thorn, symmetry, uh, KK, uh, yeah, that is Kekayami, and polka dot. Uh, the red brushes are things that come with the program, and once you get rid of them, they're gone. This also includes the brush with the Fire Alpaca logo. So that's how you get a brush that you maybe deleted on accident. Like say you had your airbrush, you hit your delete button, which mine is too far off to the side. Um, and now you don't have your airbrush tool anymore. Well, new airbrush, so on and so forth. Um, to make a new brush, I know I'm going through this fast. Um, this stuff is all just uh, G Wiz or just stuff that maybe 
I've mentioned in multiple videos before, I've answered multiple questions for, and it is starting to almost get there for me. Uh, however, I'm always happy to help everybody, so whenever I'm thinking, oh, this is terrible, I usually come back and say, you know, it's not that bad. So before any of you feel bad about asking me questions, it's really not that bad. So I'm going to make a quick new brush here. And I'm going to save it as two different brushes. Um, the first one I'm going to be saving it as is the PNG brush, which is what I mainly, mainly use um, when I'm making brushes for everybody. Uh, you can see them in my DeviantArt. I'll post a link down to my brushes. Please note that if you are watching me for brushes, I have not made brushes for a long time. And I am mostly working on art, and you will probably find ponies and Pokemon in there. Fair warning. So, here's my quick brush. Nothing special. Uh, I will not be offering this one for download unless uh, people really want it, which I doubt it. So, oh, I hit save as, oh, that's the same thing. I'm just going to save this to my desktop as a heart brush. Come here and save it as that .png. Yes, I want to save it with a transparent background. And I'm also going to save it as an actual brush, that bitmap. And I'm not going to lie, I've never done this before. This is something I decided to do after work, otherwise I will never get around to it. So now I have two new brushes, and they should work the same, all things considered, which would be great if they do, because that means you can download Photoshop brushes uh, that are in zipped files, open them up, and they're, um, scratch that, those are ABR brushes. Um, but if somebody does have a bitmap brush, you can use them as uh, what you would like. Oh, what's up with that? Okay, uh, I'll be coming back to that then in a different video after I figure out the kinks because let's just go straight to the PNG brush, which I'm gonna open up and it's gonna be heart brush example because I already have three heart brushes. When you're making a new brush, understand that there is a lot of options that come with brushes. A lot of options. I'm going to be going through all of them. Um, I'm going to be using the same brush the whole time. So feel free to play around with however you want your brush to be set as soon as you log in or click on the program. Just however you want it there, okay, I want my brush to look exactly like this every time I log in, even though I'm going to make it huge right now. So, there's my brush as regular bitmap, or, yeah, bitmap. I will then go to bitmap watercolor, which does scatter it. Uh, you can space that scatter out. You can tell it to not randomly rotate or rotate at all. You can make it very easy to mix colors, or not so easy. And you can tell it how much color you want. Same rules apply everywhere else. It's not going to work exactly like your watercolor brush. If much at all. I found this one a little bit more helpful when you're using brushes that are definitely more uh, custom to what this is, not pattern brushes like uh, what I make. So... Those don't work too well for pattern brushes like that. Uh, the next one is going to be Scatter. Which you can see Scatter. I use Scatter a lot. Uh, most of my brushes are set for Scatter, actually. I know all of my Sparkle ones are. Um, they just look better as Scatter. I know a lot of the times if you're looking for heavy snowfall, all of my snow, my snow brushes, I've always set them to Scatter unless I need the singular pattern so on and so forth. So a lot of them that I have are set to scatter. And scatter's all sorts of fun. I know in earlier videos I went over color jitter and hue jitter. Um, so I'm not going to go over those here. 
So that was scatter. You also have your scatter watercolor, which is kind of like that bitmap watercolor. It's just a watercolor. Again, it doesn't work too well for these pattern brushes. And the last one is actually called pattern, which is a little interesting and definitely something if you need it. it it's, it's there if you need it. The biggest thing with pattern is whatever color that brush is, is exactly what you're getting out. So I made this brush black and they're all going to be black. And they're all going to be um, 100 pixels by 100 pixels, the exact size brush that I have. And no matter where I start drawing, they're all going to be in the same exact spot. Pattern is very useful if you need it. I find it a very interesting brush. That is my only opinion on how pattern works. It is a very interesting brush that I know will be very useful for a lot of people. So, and if you can't tell, by the way, to edit your brushes, you double click, then you get the little pop up. Oh. I forgot about this little bit. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at brush control because it doesn't pop up here. Um, with your when you're editing your brush it won't pop up here but it will pop up down here which is your apply foreground color to your brush so if you do want that foreground color that color that you have selected it's going to be in your brush control which I'm very sorry I didn't remember that that was there for a little bit I have yet to use a lot of um, this pattern brush or the pattern function of brushes so um, I just, it, it slipped my mind for a second. But yeah, pretty much that's just, that's all your missing stuff. Um, everything is pretty set forward after that. You're missing, or you need a new palette, and it's there. You need a new brush, it's there, there. And like I said, I'll figure out this one, um, probably in a side video. Uh, snap, you can also add stuff to uh, with your free snap. I'm just going to do that one. You can actually save that. Um, you can select Save Snap, and you can title it whatever you want. And I believe you can save more than one. Um, I'd have to recheck on my facts on that one. But I know you can at least have one on standby uh, if you really like that one snap pattern that you made. So other than that, that is all for this video. Um, the next video I do plan on making is just how I personally use Fire Alpaca, so it'll just be a quick speed paint with me talking over it um, once it's rendered to be the speed paint, and I'll be talking about what I'm doing as I'm going through. So, yeah, that's about it. I hope all of these tutorials have helped all of you, and hopefully I continue to make more as... Uh, this program continues to update and move forward and continue